Hey guys, welcome to part one of Let's Play GoldenEye 007 Reloaded on the Xbox 360. Um, I'm really excited about doing this game. It's of course, um, well I guess I'll go over the basic stuff that you need to know. Like it won't be a hundred percent run because there are collectibles. I won't be playing on that high difficulty because that's hard and screw that. But yeah, I'm really excited about doing this game because this is one of the best James Bond games to come out in years. Uh, definitely on this generation it's one of the best so I'm really excited to be replaying it and go over it again but I will also say this there are no subtitles in the game uh, in case you don't believe me I'll show you look here's all the settings you get you go on audio settings you get this um, so let's turn this a bit up so yeah so I've got the dialogue volume really up so hopefully that'll be okay um, but anyway let's just get into it straight away um, yeah, I'll talk a bit more about all the different things that this game has, but either way, this is a remake of GoldenEye, it's great. Um, 007 Classic is where you play as hard and you have proper health, but all the other ones are just easy, normal and hard, but you regen health. So, I'll be playing as Agent because I'm LPing it, but yeah, I'm going to have to shut up because there's a lot of talking because we just started a new game, so... Oh, I'm also going to edit out certain loading screens because they can get a bit long and frequent. Good morning, 007. Welcome to the MI6 Agent Evaluation Center. As you know, this course is mandatory for 00 agents, and only the best will remain certified for field operations. Good luck. Take the weapon from the counter, 007. Will do, Skip. Come on, let me shoot at some stuff. Cool. Okay, bang bang. So there, there is a tutorial here, and the reason why it's here, because you might think, well, there's really no need for a tutorial, and you'll be correct, is because this is a remake of a Wii game. So of course, when you're playing a Wii game, you're gonna need a tutorial to get used to the controls. So with this game, we have this tutorial level, and I could have cut it out and just gone straight to mission one, but it felt more appropriate to actually do it, because it is part of the game, of course. So, yeah, sorry, we will be going through this brief tutorial. Uh, there's nothing that you guys really need to know about the controls. They're very simple controls, and it, they're all based of Call of Duty because even it's published by Activision I don't think they use the Call of Duty engine for this unlike Quantum of Solace but yeah it's Call of Duty controls oh hold on okay well let's get this then aha yeah cool yeah so it's it's exactly Call of Duty controls like all this stuff like the snapping up thing these up. all comes from Call of Duty so um that's uh, we can we can get we now know how to shoot, which is quite handy. I don't know how he became a 007 agent 007. without knowing how to shoot, but whatever, I'll go with it. Alright, off we go. And also, I'm not too sure whose um, voice that is, by the way, giving us commands. I don't think that's anyone in particular. Like, I really want it to be the black guy from uh, World Is Not Enough, and I think Tomorrow Never Dies? I don't know, I really like that guy. I really, it's quite sad he was in you know, the mediocre world is not enough. But I really like that guy. Um, so yeah, so this is another reason why there's a stealth, <laughs> by why there's a tutorial. Because this game focuses a lot on stealth. So they also have to kind of get you used to the mindset of when you run into a room, don't just start shooting everyone. Because that uh, probably, it works out in certain areas, but not all of them. Oh dear. Uh, yes, cameras, just like the original game. Oh yeah, uh, I will be going over the difference between this and the original games, but there's a lot of differences, so it's gonna... It, I should just say the whole game, really, and just move on. Oh no! Good work, Yay! With flag colors. M will now brief you on your next mission. We're now a super secret agent. Forget the bit in Casino Royale about how he got his double O stuff. This is how it really happened. He killed two guys in a basement. Although he killed two, one guy in a bathroom and the other guy in Casino Royale. So let's just move on. Begin secure transmission. Good morning, 007. 
For the past three years, a high-ranking Russian general, Arkady Arumov, has been stealing Russian military equipment and selling it on the black market. We have reason to believe he's about to ship a cache of high-tech weapons to a terrorist organization that has been targeting our embassies. Along with Agent 006, your mission is to infiltrate his base of operations, destroy the weapons cache, and, if need be, eliminate General Orumov. Agent 006 has already surveyed the facility. Time is of the essence, 007. An unmarked cargo plane is already en route, due to pick up those weapons for the terrorists in 45 minutes. Do you copy? Confirm. We're in position. Good luck, James. MI6, out. Welcome to Russia. MI6 has given us the go-ahead on the mission. Just wait until the last truck passes. I'll take the cut on the left. You take the one on the right. Now, let's go. Nice work, James. Just like old times. You take the tower, but watch out for that sniper. I'll get the truck. Just, just look at this. When it comes to remaking GoldenEye and getting that, you know, or reimagining it, I guess, you have to nail this area, and they really did! With the camera angle, and yeah, it's different, there's more story stuff going on, and you have um, Alec with you, but look how I could just walk around this area forever, just, just staring at it. It looks great in HD, and it's just, oh, they nailed it. Right, so there's a collectible there. When I was talking about not getting 100%, I mean, I won't be getting all of those, but, I'll, you know, I'll be showing some of them off. That's just They're just the collectible. You just find those um, things, or those little Janus tokens, and you take them out. Right, so... Is that a guy up there? I can't really tell. Oh, there's a guy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Missed! Oh! Oh, okay. I thought that was a next shot. I don't know why he didn't die there. Okay. Oh, this place looks so cool. It looks so cool. They oh, And it's raining as well. It's just... I really like it, in case you can't tell. I remember watching the footage of this game and was being blown away by it. Well, kind of, anyway. Because, of course, there's the... This was originally a Wii game. So this is the HD version of it that I wasn't following. I didn't keep an eye on this HD version. Uh, but I did keep an eye on the Wii version, but when I heard good things about the Wii version, but I didn't have a Wii when it came out, so... See if you can find any extra firepower in there. Alrighty, I think he said kill everyone. Yeah, because there's no subtitles, I can't hear exactly what they're saying as well as you guys can't hear exactly what they're saying. Oh god. Been spotted. No, no you don't. You dumb raincoat. Supposed to be a terrorist. He's like, oh, I've got to have a raincoat. Can't get wet. I'll shoot some guys, but I won't get wet. So, yeah, so I didn't really follow this HD version, but then I saw it for cheap and picked it up. Because I did play the Wii version. I never owned it, but I did play it. And I liked what I saw. So then I didn't completely play it because it was. Uh, my dad actually owned it, funnily enough, and I played it there. But I didn't beat it and really get a chance to have a good time with it. But. Once I saw this HD version for cheap, then I was like, well, you know what, Let's. I guess it's time for me to jump back into Goldeneye and, oh, this area is so good, look at look at all this stuff. 
it's like like just compare it to the N64 version or you can just compare it to the Wii version and it you know looks 10 times better well let's go meet up with Alec see what he wants nobody ever died being too careful words to live by so how much do you know about Oromov? only what I read in the dossier that after the fall of the Soviet Union he became jealous of the oligarchs all their new money and went into business freelancing for himself up ahead the checkpoint we're running six minutes behind if anything goes wrong be prepared to move how's your Russian these days? Gex is there how they show Hey, T. We hold these groups of Ika. The Chum Pradlone, Sardian. Spets do Stavka is Moscow. Piedmats minut, Nikomu the Gostio. But you muya Nika than you video to you. The Novi, Perebedien. The mighty documente, Yaskazal. We hold these groups of Ika. Let's get out of here, Alex. Yeah! <laughs> here we go. This is how you get it done. Of course, in the original version of this level, it was a very slow kind of thing. Well, it wasn't the most stealthy level, but it was the first level when you were going through it, shooting everyone, um, and then you had the whole bit underground and all that, but you weren't doing this. I think this is a very positive change. They're like, you know what? Because really, it's really unrealistic to just have one guy go and just kill everyone. And of course, James Bond has never been about realism anyway, but still, this kind of makes a bit more sense, or in terms of films anyway. Because of course, Goldeneye was a game. Whoop, well, that was close. It's bloody dangerous, actually. Uh, yeah, Goldeneye was like, it was a game, so they didn't have to follow by the film's rules. But nowadays, games have to follow by film rules, where you can have people do impossible stuff, but it's got to be in like a... Like, they can avoid bullets and not be hit by bullets, but they have to be able to charge in like a cool guy. Or get blown up like a cool guy, I guess. In James Bond's case. James, come on. Look. What the hell are they doing with one of those? We haven't the time. Let's go. Come on, James. Let's move. Let's get him in slow mo and headshot. Did I get? Oh, oh, I think that was a headshot anyway. Did you see that helicopter? Yeah, what of it? It looked EMP hardened, designed to survive an electromagnetic pulse. The blast from the weapons cache will take care of it. I'm getting a picture for MI6. Don't waste your time. We'd be late reaching the rendezvous point. Get on with it. I'll cover you. Yeah, you're gonna do. You're gonna do so much damage with that silenced pistol, Alec. You're just such a cool, smart guy. So I'm actually gonna end off the part here because. Um, I know, I know. Because uh, yeah, we're now entered in this part of the game. So um, by the way. This is not a Call of Duty clone, and I'll tell you why <laughs> in the next part. Because all that whole sequence there did was very like Call of Duty, and it is Call of Duty controls. But anyway, so um, next time let's play GoldenEye 007 Reloaded on the 360. We're going to explore the dam a bit more and hope Alec doesn't get killed by that helicopter. Because, I mean, the helicopter usually wins against guys with silent pistols and woolly hats. So, I've been OnStorm23. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.